Malaria is a dreadful problem, nowhere more so, of course, than in Africa. And Malaria No More is an organization dedicated to trying to eradicate it. David Bowen is the CEO of Malaria No More. And Ambassador Mark Green is the former ambassador to Tanzania and, of course, a former Republican congressman from Wisconsin. Uh, they can both be tweeted at Malaria Policy and at Malaria No More. Gentlemen, great to see you. Uh, good good afternoon. Uh, Thank you for having us. Mr. Bowen, let me come to you first. Uh, it seems an extraordinarily ambitious undertaking. Can we do it? Well, humanity has uh, taken on and succeeded in ambitious undertakings before. We managed to wipe out smallpox. Um, and this is indeed an ambitious undertaking, but the scale of the response matches the scale of the problem. Around Africa, there are tens of millions of hundreds of millions of bed nets being distributed, and the bed nets will protect children and adults from the bite of the mosquito that carries malaria. There are treatments being distributed, testing kits, and ultimately we hope a vaccine, all of which are being deployed on a massive scale, and all of which are having a demonstrable positive impact in the lives of people across the world. Uh, um, Mr. Ambassador, I, I'm, I'm guessing that you saw the effects of malaria during your time uh, as ambassador. Uh, how, what kind of effect did that have on you witnessing that up close? Well, first off, I'm a malaria survivor myself from uh, years ago being a volunteer teacher. A as ambassador, I saw the results of the investments that we've made in fighting malaria. The islands of Zanzibar, part of where I served, the prevalence rate of malaria is down one below 1%. You know, I met with the doctors. We were touring a hospital, and just a few years ago, there would have been three patients to a bed just on malaria alone. Now you go to some of those same wards and you see no malaria patients. So we've seen extraordinary progress, and with that progress, great hope. And David, what, can, what are you asking ordinary citizens to do to make a difference here? I think it's crucial to make your voices heard, to let people know, whether in your community or here in Washington, that you care about America's involvement in this, in this fight, that you care that we're investing the best of ourselves in saving lives and making progress and making friends around the world. And of course, there are opportunities to donate directly, donate your time, donate your resources, but most of all, donate your compassion and your will to succeed, your will to end this, uh, to win this fight positively. And, and certainly we welcome people going to our website, malarianomore.org, to learn more. All right, we'll pop up the uh, website, no, malarianomore.org. Uh, but Ambassador, it, it's, it's not just a question of citizens acting, obviously. Governments need to help. Is the U.S. government doing enough? Well, the U.S. government is leading the way in so many ways. You know, I think this is a marvelous success story showing what America can do in this world with its leadership. Tremendous credit goes to President Bush for launching the President's Malaria Initiative, but that would not have been possible without great bipartisan support. So in so many ways, American leadership, American investment is changing the course of human history in Africa, where most of, as you pointed out, most of malaria's victims are. Yes, it's working very well and making a big difference. Uh, let me bring Bob Rice into the conversation here. Bob, Bob, you, uh, we talked about TED before, this organization that uh, promotes all these big thinking ideas. This was one of the big ideas that you, uh, you yeah. talked about at the last TED. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, the, and this, this is a sort of thing, uh, as the guests were just pointing out, that really burnishes America's reputation. I mean, I think mm. one of the great things about America is it's clearly the most philanthropic big power. I mean, China is buying influence by going around and literally buying up local. But it's, it's America that is produces these kinds of fantastic, wonderful initiatives that make such a profound difference in people's lives. And these are accomplishable goals, but people have to remember, it's very difficult to really, 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 really eradicate these diseases. You get right. them down to fairly low incidence, people stop paying attention, and they explode back onto the scene again. So it's not something you can give up on. Mr. Mr. Bowen, do you have a sort of target date for when you would like to get it, uh, the, the, the levels of malaria at least down to what Bob was talking about, minimal levels? Well, we're impatient, so uh, no time would be too soon. But the world has set itself a goal of getting the death rate from malaria down towards zero 
by the end of 2015. And we're working very, very hard with partners across the world, from donor countries to local volunteers in the villages to try and uh, meet that goal. And uh, we remain optimistic, um, but you're absolutely right. We need to be in this. We need to keep the, the fight going, and we need to, uh, to c get down to, to final victory on this. Mr. Ambassador, there's a, a, you know, a lot of people probably watching now who would uh, sort of look away, say, why do I need to be involved in this? We have so many problems in our own country. What is your message to those people? Well, this is in our interest. This is the modern equivalent, if you will, of the Marshall Plan. When we rebuilt Europe after World War II, in so many ways, we're providing hope in troubled lands in Africa, uh, fragile nations, nations that have known despair and hopelessness. By being on the side of families as they take on their great poverty-enhanced global health challenges, we're offering hope. It's good for America's brand, but we're also building partners and allies that will help us in the years ahead. All right, Ambassador Mark Green, former ambassador to Tanzania and former congressman, of course, Republican of Wisconsin, and David Bowen, CEO of Malaria No More. Once again, the website is malarianomore.org. Uh, we urge you all to go check it out. Gentlemen, thank you so much for thank being you. here today. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. And there's one more look at the website.